Today we're diving into the ultimate guide for the best microphones for the DJI Pocket 3 because when it comes to capturing stunning audio having the right microphone is crucial. If you want to know how I've attached my microphones to the Pocket 3 I'm using the DJI extension handle. The first microphone I'm looking at is the Rode VideoMic Go 2. This microphone is a compact lightweight shotgun microphone. So this microphone is great because it has a USB-C port and it has a 3.5mm audio port. So it's a very versatile microphone, you can connect it to a lot of different devices. You can connect it to your phone, you can connect it to your laptop, you can connect it to the, directly to the Pocket 3 which is one of the great benefits. You can connect it to a lot of different things, you could even use it as a podcast microphone for example. I prefer this microphone over the Rode Video Micro as I think the sound quality is better. I'm using this at around arm's length let me know what you think in the comments below of the audio. I'm using this microphone with the wind muff. The only downside to this microphone is if you buy it, it doesn't come with the wind muff. You have to buy the wind muff separately. So that's the only downside. But the wind muff is only about £25. The second microphone I'm looking at is the Sennheiser MKE 200. And the reason I love this microphone is it's because it's small, it's compact, it's very discreet but it's still yet very powerful and very mighty. I'm using this microphone at arm's length as well. And the great thing about this microphone is it comes with a wind muff that covers the whole microphone. So it's very good for eliminating wind noise. One of the great things about the Sennheiser MKE 200 is it has a built-in shock mount. So unlike some other models on the market, it's not gonna flap about when you're using it. If you look at the Rode Video Micro, the shock mount's good, but it flaps about a bit if you're moving around, whereas this will stay still due to the built-in shock mount. And it also has a screw for your cables, so when you plug your cable in, you can screw it down so it's unlikely to come out when you're recording your audio. Now, if you're gonna use this microphone, you will need a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack, and you will need a TRS to TRS cable to enable you to use this microphone with the Pocket 3. Microphone number three is the Rode Wireless Me. Now this is a fantastic microphone if you're looking to improve your audio. This microphone is for everyone because it has automatic gain assist. Now that doesn't mean that you can put the microphone miles and miles away from you. So it means if I talk loudly or if I talk quietly, if I talk quietly, then the gain on the Pocket 3 should be able to sort that out for you. And the added benefit of using this microphone is you can have it further away from the Pocket 3. So if you wanna walk into shots or you wanna walk out of shots, or you just wanna be talking whilst you're looking at something else, this is a great microphone. This microphone connects directly to the Pocket 3 via USB-C, and at the same time, it has a microphone on the receiver. So if you just wanna use the receiver and use that as the microphone and plug that in and not have this microphone here, you could do that, or if you want to have a two-person vlog, or a podcast, or whatever you want to do, this microphone is great for that. Let me know what you think of the audio in the comments below. Mic number four is the DJI Mic 2, which comes with the Creator Combo. You can't buy this separately at the moment, but I'm sure it will be coming out soon. Now, this microphone is great because it connects directly to your Pocket 2 via Bluetooth, or you can use it independently by itself, or you can connect it to your iPhone. This microphone has eight gigabytes of internal storage, and when you're using it as a standalone microphone, it will record in 32-bit flow, which is pretty damn good. The only thing I would say about this microphone is if you're going to use it straight out of the box, you need to change the settings. I'll put a link to a video where you can change the settings, but I recommend bumping up the gain. I wouldn't recommend using this on the cold shoe um, because you definitely need to talk quite loudly for that to work properly. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about the DJI Mic 2, watch this video. If you want to know more about the Pocket 3, watch this video.